we're down now to the final 72 business hours of 2017. Today is the 27th of uh, December 2017. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new edition of Business Morning live here on Channel Television. Nigeria's news leader. Let's get started. I am boosting them off. I, of course, the big story since the late um, end of November, to be precise, has to do with the petrol scarcity. Of course, it's really uh, biting really hard, but in case you've forgotten, we started this uh, round of fuel scarcity in the final days of November. So we're going to piggyback a little bit all the way to how we got into the current mess situation as far as the uh, our petrol scarcity is concerned. Let's go back to what's on the, on the Twitter account of the Nigeria's uh, Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Dr. Ibe Kachiku. This was what he tweeted on December the 7th. Remember, it was the folks in the uh, IPMA and the uh, independent petrol marketers who warned that they will go on strike in December. They were the ones who gave the first hint that there's going to be a problem in December. They gave that hint and they went on strike for just a few days in the first week of December. Then the uh, Honorable, Minister, uh, Honorable Minister of State in, in charge of petroleum resources, Kachiko, held a press briefing on December the 7th. And this is what he said at that briefing. And he says that the uh, a fuel queues being uh, experienced by Nigerians is at missed product availability. Uh, what he said on December the 7th, 20 days ago, was that there was product availability and that the scarcity we had in the first week of December happened despite the availability of products. And what did he tell us in the media? He gave three or four points which he says will be the key issues moving forward. He said, first, uh, the press briefing focused on the causative factors of that scarcity. And he talked about the actions taken this week. That was in the week of December 7th by the federal government. Then he said, the third, what the buying public is expected to see over the next week. That is the week after December the 7th. Then he also went on to mention the long-term solution. That's the fourth and that's what he said. Now, very quickly, let's uh, show you uh, this uh, a bit of a, a graphics uh, illustration of what the Honorable Minister uh, of State for Petroleum Resources presented to the press at that briefing. It, and those four, uh, what he called the key focus, is what we showed you now on your screen. The first one, which the Minister, Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Ebi Kachiku, said on December the 7th was the causative factors. What did he say was the cause of the petrol scarcity in the first week of December? He said that was fuel hoarding that led to queues. So he said it was due to herding. And you can see uh, those images there. If they look a little bit uh, uh, faint to you, just uh, uh, bear with us. It's like the hoarding resultant from uh, uh, the rumor of product price increase. That's the first uh, uh, image you see there with a the truck there. Then you find that car at a, at a, a gas station, and then they put another there that created a ripple effect across major cities, queues visible because of a rush to buy products before supposed price increase. So the, uh, the Minister of State blamed it on hoarding. He said that was the cause of the petrol scarcity in the first week of December. Then you find the, uh, the right side of that page, actions taken this week, in the week of the 1st of uh, December, by the federal government, through the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, said they'll be monitoring the supply and distribution. And there will be, at the bottom, the additional trucking to major cities by NNPC using their strategic reserves from Suleja, Mina, Guso, and Gombe, all around Nigeria's central and the, to the northern part of the country says the NNPC will use the strategic reserve to supply additional fuel to the country in the first week of December. Let's go to number three. And that's on, on this, you see that there. It says what the buying public is expected to see over the next week, which is the week following that December 7th press briefing. And the Honorable Minister of State says, one, Lagos is improving, will get better by Friday of that December 7th. Abuja queue is expected to thin out completely by that weekend. And finally, Kaduna area to be served by refinery and reserves. But what's the long-term uh, issue here in terms of sustainability? And that's what you find on the left page of your TV screen. If you can read that with me, you can see that the uh, Honorable uh, Minister of State, Dr. Kachiku, says there's going to be comprehensive 
refinery revamping, which he says is ongoing. That's number one. The modular refineries, you find that there uh, at the top uh, right. Then at the bottom left, you find the implementation of policy. And finally, infrastructure revamp. That was all on the 7th of December. So let's fast track to 20, um, about 21 days to this week, uh, which was the week of uh, uh, Christmas. Okay, so what, is, what does the uh, Vice President, Yemi Oshibayo, has to say with one of the most contentious issues in the industry, which has to do with fuel subsidy? This was what the news agency of Nigeria reported the Vice President as saying, quote, that the NNPC, that's the state of corporation, is trading in fuel. The federal government is not, at the moment, paying for any subsidy. It's an NPC that is traded. Uh, the news agency went on to quote the vice president that if you are buying and selling fuel, you will have to be able to pay for it. So it's not a question of government provision for subsidy. The federal government at the moment isn't paying any subsidy. That's what the vice president, uh, according to the news agency of Nigeria, December the 25th on Christmas Day. That's what he told uh, the uh, media. Now we have the key problems here, what's called the trilemma in the Nigeria's oil industry. Let's start with the first, is demand. Uh, figures and estimates vary in terms of our daily consumption. Some say 35 million barrels per day, some say 24, we're not too sure. So figures vary. And of course there were reports of diversion of these products refined in Nigeria and imported via Lagos. So to neighboring countries. So there were reports that, of course, there was a diversion from what we produce locally, that's sabotage, and then we import through Lagos. Then folks, some folks use trucks to truck them out of the country. That's the first problem. Then the second is the supply. The NNPC is now the sole importer of petrol. Uh, that's number one. The local refining capacity is still grossly inadequate. We'll get to that in a few seconds. You see how badly we are uh, compared to other African countries. In terms of pricing, that's where the trilemma is for the NNPC. Uh, that's the basically subsidized. And then that's the truth. The price of crude oil is the poison in the chalice. Let's look at our refining uh, capacity. That's what, we've, what we found in a bit of a little, of a, just scratching the surface. On a per capita basis, Nigeria refining capacity, theoretically maximum capacity, which is far higher than actual current operational capacity, is one of the lowest, even among other African countries. So let's just uh, see what uh, we sourced from Vanguard uh, newspapers of uh, around, what's that, when was that? October, isn't it? Yes, October the 3rd. This was what Vanguard newspapers published as Nigeria's per capita uh, refining capacity. Libya is doing 6.17. Uh, Algeria is doing 1.37. South Africa is 1.11. Uh, uh, Egypt, 0 0.96. And Nigeria is sitting there at the bottom, 0 0.3. Uh, so, where do we get uh, petrol uh, refineries? These are the three folks who are currently uh, discussing uh, refining. Uh, this, the Petrolex is the latest uh, uh, in Ogun State, says they're going to do 250,000 barrels per day. Uh, the king of the uh, industry uh, in terms of the private sector is uh, the Dangote Lekki refinery, uh, building 650,000 uh, barrels per day refinery. That is expected to come on stream in 2019. The folks in Ogun State, Petrolex, uh, is looking at 2018. Uh, a co petrochem and refining company, I think that's based in Badagri, is it? Uh, somewhere around the Lagos backwaters there. Uh, they said they're working on a $250 uh, million uh, facility to handle 20,000 uh, barrels per day. Okay, that's just about.